When the F-22 came on the scene, we experienced true dominance. It enabled the fighter pilot in that airplane in a very few number of flights to have capability over all other airplanes on the battle space that had never been seen before. It was uh, revolutionary in the way, that we, the way that we fought air combat, and that's because of its design. It was designed from the beginning to be an air superiority fighter that exhibited stealth characteristics enabling the enemy to not see the airplane at the same rate that it did in previous generations. It brought forward an advanced flight control system and integrated um, power system that enabled the supercruise capability to allow the airplane to high, fly high and fast outside of afterburners and at the same time have extreme maneuverability and agility that enabled the pilot to dominate in air combat situations. The jet did all of the sensor management and brought forward an integrated picture and gave inside the cockpit of a fighter airplane the pilot the chance to now just make decisions on integrated and fused information. For F-22s, I'm excited and optimistic about where um, the Air Force is challenging us to go. So we're committed to keeping that dominance on the F-22 and in the F-35 going forward. So that's why we continually seek to make uh, relevant improvements and changes to keep that experience of first look, first shot, first kill on the F-22. The F-22 Raptor is going to be foundational to the air power solutions of the Joint Force. That means that we need to deliver air superiority as a Raptor for many years to come.